Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have, it, have had a fabulous week. Uh, here in Arkansas, the weather has been superb. Perfect time to go out and uh, do some hiking, do some family stuff, and uh, that's what I've been doing with my family. But again, I want to make sure that we continue our summer spotlight, and I'm so excited. Uh, our guest this week is someone very close, not only to my family, but to our Central Arkansas Entertainment team, and a lot of you are so familiar because you know what? She's warmed the hearts of everybody in Little Rock, mm -hmm. let alone the state of Arkansas. Every time when you get up early and you turn on, for me automatically it's Channel 4. So I've known of her for so long and just uh, a couple years ago we had the opportunity of being blessed with speaking parts in God's Not Dead Part 2. What an awesome experience. And then earlier this year, uh, in January, we hosted the Arkansas Democrat, Democrat Gazette Bridal Show. So, uh, with any further ado, it is my distinct honor to introduce to you Miss Mallory Hardin Brooks. Mallory. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing this my today. Pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks, you mean so much to me. And it was so much fun working with you. Um, when we did the show together a few months, you had just had your baby girl, little yes, baby girl, and your sweet Sorry. wife brought her and was able to show her to the crowd. So sweet. And I love what you do. I've been to several of your weddings, and they're always fun. Always on the dance floor. Hey. He's the best. Loves Central Arkansas Entertainment. Um, and thanks for having me here today. This is fun. This is a great honor. Uh, the location, we spoke about this. We just didn't want it to be somewhere normal. We wanted, you have created a brand for yourself. Oh, thank you. That you're well respected. Like I said, you have warmed the hearts of everyone. So when everyone's waking up in the morning, they're getting their news directed from you and the team thank on you. Channel 4. Mm -hmm. Cart for correct? Mm -hmm, yes. <laughs> um, and and it, it, what an opportunity to have and ask you the three basic questions which I've had. Mm -hmm. And uh, is there something else that we can share as far as your, you know what, let me shoot out to the first question. Okay. Because basically you can fill in your history or your mm -hmm. bio. Um, the three questions I've asked, and again, ladies and gentlemen, the summer spotlight. I wanted to reach out. So much going on in the world and mm -hmm. social media, especially locally. We've had some stuff going on in Little Rock. And I want, being that I'm a local DJ, let alone actor, and I'm a family man, I want to make sure that everyone gets filled with some love, some inspiration, and good stuff. So I've been interviewing influential people. And of course, Mallory's super influential. Mm -hmm. And um, I wanted to ask three basic questions and get a different view from different angles um, from different people in, in the community. So my first question goes, or is, what, growing up, what was it that convinced you this was your career of choice? Well, I have actually wanted to do the news since I was a little girl, since I mean as far as I can remember. And that's what I do now. I um, do the morning show from 5 to 7 on KARK Morning Show. And that has kind of been my dream since I was a kid. I always say I was the only kid on the block that would be out playing in the neighborhood, riding bikes, and then at 5 o'clock I had to run home to watch the local news. I mean, don't you guys want to see what's going on? Like, no, we don't want to go watch the news. Or when, you know, there are clouds and storms brewing, I would always want to go ask my teacher at school, like, about the storm. She'd be like, no, go finish your work, Mallory. Well, let's talk about the storm. Like, I've always been so, um, since I was a kid, um, I wanted to know the news. I wanted to know the weather. I wanted to know what was happening. And so, it's kind of a dream to be in it now, to get to do it every day and be in the middle of news and weather whenever it's happening. Um, so growing up, I used to do weather reports from my back deck with our little home video camera. Um, and, and now getting to do the news and to be there for the weather is really, really neat. Um, so I always wanted to do it. When I got into college, I didn't realize um, that it, I just I thought I'd go to college and do it. and. Um, realized that a lot less people actually get into it than want to get into it, so it took work, it took a lot of hard work, um, a, a lot of crazy hours, the news has insane hours, no one really works a typical schedule 9 to 5, and so you kind of have to be willing to do that and, and put aside your life for a little while to work your way up, um, and that's what it took. I have to ask, you mentioned hours. Yes. Now, as a parent, and, and you've met my family, I have three daughters, and uh, with the baby, our hours vary. Yes. You as an awesome broadcaster and your awesome family and your beautiful baby, how do you do it? <laughs> Thank you. Especially Thank being you up that early. It's so hard. It's really hard. It's um, My alarm clock goes off at 2.30 in the morning. That's when the first alarm goes off. I shouldn't give myself credit. I've never, <laughs> I haven't woken up in years the first time. That's just that you need to start getting the process. And thank goodness my husband is a hard sleeper. Thank goodness because... 
I have I think six alarms that go off and I usually get up by the third or fourth one um, so I try to be up by three at the very very latest and at work by four um, and you know we go on the air at five o'clock and so as soon as I get to work, I drink a lot of coffee. That's hey. actually how I do it. <laughs> heavy, heavy coffee drinker. But by the time I walk into the station, um, I'm drinking coffee and there's always so much going on and getting in the scripts. Um, I get ready at work. I go to work with rollers in my hair. That's about all I can do almost put rollers in my hair and brush my teeth. And um, get ready and drink coffee. And then we all literally, if you ever watch our morning show at 5 a.m., we say, good morning, welcome to KRK4 today. But if you look closely, you'll notice that we're all a little bit disheveled. I probably don't have my earrings in yet. DJ is always putting on his microphone as 5 o'clock hits. It's probably still dangling off. Um, we're all a little bit of a mess. We call it kind of progressive. We all finish our makeup throughout the first few commercial breaks. Um, and then by 6 o'clock, we say that's when we really get rolling. And then at the Today Show starts at 7. So um, it, it's fun. It's like a family. We see each other at, at our worst and at our best. Um, and there are mornings when I'm tired. I have a, a toddler at home who doesn't sleep all the time. Um, so sometimes I just want to fall over. But as soon as the camera comes on, you know, I can take a nap during a commercial break. And then it comes back on. Good morning. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we go back to commercial, I'll probably put my head back down every, every few mornings. Not, take a little break. So your passion, since you were a child, has become your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It has. And I'm thankful for that. I'm really thankful. I am. And that's what I have to remember when the, the job gets tough, is that this is what I've always wanted. And, and I'm so thankful I'm able to do it. One of the reasons why I wanted to do this is that people can get a raw and unplugged view of influential people mm -hmm. as far as yourself and the fact that you rollers. I'm like, how many <laughs> beautiful ladies can relate <laughs> to that or let alone the makeup, right? Yes. Or even guys with well, my hair, guys. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, with all that going on and you've shared your passion, my second question, who in your life was a big influence that's helped you, mm -hmm. motivated you, or maybe even helped you and disciplined or add, helped with that discipline to be where you're at? That's a really good question. Several people along the way, my parents, my dad was a really, really hard worker. He um, he had five jobs at one point. Um, he always was working, yes, and he always somehow made time for his family, but he was a very, very hard worker. And my, So I always tried to take that from him, is to work, 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 and then the second you get a break, just go straight to your family. My mom, on the other hand, is the sweetest woman in the world. She bakes cookies for every person that she meets. She would bake cookies for the bug man or the, the I mean, whoever was coming over to our house. And um, so I, I always wanted to be just like my mom, who's just so kind and loving and like doesn't have a mean bone in her body. But then I also wanted to work hard like my dad, which um, is hard to find a, a good balance. But um, Probably my parents, they were definitely the biggest inspiration. And they've been my biggest cheerleaders. They've been wonderful. Um, you know, it's the industry is, is tough and uh, and it's it's not what it's not glamorous at all. It's T V is not glamorous mm -hmm. at all. And so um, I think a lot of parents would think their kid was kids were crazy to do some of the silly jobs I did leading up to it, but um, they always supported me and I'm thankful for that. Very thankful. So your parents are the MVPs? Yes, they are. They're MVPs. And now they're the best grandparents ever. They're actually watching my little girl right now today while I've been at work this morning. Thank you. This. Yes. Thank you. They're the best. Uh, you know, that means so much because you know what, Mallory, I think Little Rock deserves to see it respectfully a different part of you because I can vouch how much you've made an impact in the community in Thank Little Rock. You. Seriously, I mean, um, I, I truly am a believer that people who work hard and have made an impression, in, and let alone in my life, I, people deserve a shout out. The recognition, you deserve Thank that. You, you know, because if I had a thousand people out, everyone would be applauding right now of your hard work and the inspiration you are. Not only that, and I have to mention, I give credit to my mom. My wife, my amazing wife, my three daughters, mm -hmm. and my mother-in-law, women rock. Or like oh, Beyonce, thank you. Like so Beyonce sweet. say, thank women you. rule the world. I have yeah. to say, dude, hey, that's my confession. You're a smart man. You're a smart man to say that. Thank you. That's so sweet. Thank so, you. Thank you. All the credit and all the applause goes to you for your hard work. And thank you for what you do for uh, the community and for oh, Port Channel 4. Oh, thank you. My, and my pleasure. I have to ask third question. Okay. What advice... If I was young, I'd always ask 
other actors uh, or, or I go see DJs even around the world and I give credit to what I'm able to do now. Um, and so anytime everyone, anyone has a question, I'm able to share or pay it forward. Mm -hmm. So in the essence of paying it forward and sharing your heart, what advice can you give people out there, especially young people who are in that same position, mm -hmm. who are pretending to be <laughs> on the mic um, and to be where you are? What advice can you give everyone? Um, for young people out there, my goodness, uh, just follow your dreams and work. It takes work. I think that's one thing that... Um, you know, we see interns come into our stations, and the ones that want to, like, really get out there and work, those are the ones that make it far. Um, when you get into the, if, if young people are interested in the TV industry, when you get into it, I think a lot of people look and, and see. What I do now is I, I sit at an anchor desk and I read news, and I also write stories and I research and I make a lot of phone calls. But they see that and they think they're just going to come in and read news. But what they didn't see is for years I was out in the field, um, reporting in the middle of been through several tornadoes on crime scenes and homicides and, and and things that aren't pretty and so you have to be willing to work and work overnights and nights and mornings and if you're willing to work hard and and be kind you can do anything <laughs> that's actually a quote from Conan O'Brien that he said once um, when he left his show if you work hard be kind and amazing things will happen. So if you can work and get your hands dirty and you're not willing to work crazy, if you are willing to work crazy hours and then you're also nice to the people around you and you want good for other people around you, um, I think that, that you're on the path to success, absolutely. Um, work hard, be nice, and then also, um, you know, listen to the people that you're with. It is so, I'm, I'm as guilty as anyone on my phone, I'm always like, I, I am so guilty. I love to. T t t t t. My little girl's three. She's already like. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, when you're around the, the people, when you're when you're at a job, you know, listen to the people, pay attention to them. Even though it's so hard in this day and time, all the fun is is <laughs> it's always happening on our devices. Um, pay attention to what's around you and and enjoy the moment, and you'll be set. You'll be good to go. Don't worry about the drama. The big things are not as big as they seem at the time. That makes you know? sense, yeah. They're not as big as they seem. So bottom line, I know there's a lot of uh, people that deal thinking everyone's going to be handed to them. I don't know, you, you have yes. to. <laughs> yes, 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 <laughs> yes, work. You definitely have to put in, and so I want to use the phrase, you've paid your dues. Mm -hmm. Respectfully, I want to be the one, because sometimes oh, we're humble you. enough to thank say, you oh, you know, I would say, as a witness, you've paid your dues. Oh, thank you. And that's why it's important that I hope everyone out there can agree with me that this is, you know, if we had a, uh, a contest, this is, this is Little Rock right here. You're sweet, thank you. You're so kind. So, thank from you what for we saying know, that. You're no. sweet, thank you so, so much. It's You're been so an sweet. honor sharing. No, it's my pleasure, Mallory, for real. And uh, like I said, what the, the impact you made in the community and the projects that we were, and I know we're, we're going to work on some future projects mm -hmm. as well. I have to shoot you with a bonus question, if okay. I may. Okay, yes, All yes. All right, and it's okay. nothing too much. All right. My question, so again, on my profile says DJ actor family man. Okay. So I have to include the DJ aspect of it. So okay. what is your go-to jam right now? Oh, so go-to what... jam right now. Um, okay, so the new um, Calvin Harris, what is it called? Feels? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, Feels? Is that good? Do you yeah. like oh, that? Yeah. I Calvin love that. I love Bruno Mars right now. I love that. Um, those would probably be some of the top summer ones. I'd have to get out my playlist. Anything upbeat in the morning, I have to listen to as much yeah. upbeat to get going. Throughout the show, during commercial breaks, we listen to upbeat music just to keep us awake for the most part. Um, what's on your? That's a, a bonus question. What's your on your playlist? What, is, what is the what is the summer song for weddings? Oh wow! I have a a hot remix of Justin Timberlake's "Can't Stop oh. the Feeling." And it's it's a house remix of it, and and it's like ten for ten. Oh, uh, the all the wedding. Wild. Oh, yeah, because it's such a popular song, and then you're dealing with different ages at weddings. Yes. So it's a wedding that connects all the generations, and everyone just out there with their hands up. I have a video at yeah. a wedding, and everyone's like. <laughs> That's what, well, we listen. I love Justin Timberlake, but since "Can't Stop the Feeling" is in Trolls, which Trolls plays all the time at our house. Um, 
and my little girl thinks it's the greatest song ever, um, and we like it. So it's like universally it's everybody's happy. Word, yes. It's like the new Cupid Shuffle at the wedding. Exactly, like, yes, exactly. And, and, and like I said, there's so much stuff that I try to apply to different uh, genres or different ages mm -hmm. and that everyone has a good time. So. Well, I have to tell you, one of the last, I've been to several weddings you've done, one of the last ones, um, my cousin Hannah got married yes. and you were so wonderful. And my husband and I had a ball dancing on the dance floor to your songs. And then you did all these special things throughout the wedding that were so neat, like highlighting the couples that have been married forever and asking their advice. And um, it was really special. It's really neat. If I got, I, I will never, because I love my husband forever, so we would never. If we ever renew our vows and have go. a party, we want you to do it. It would be my utmost honor, for real, like seriously. And, and then one thing I remember looking when I had a, uh, a moment where everyone had a chance to be romantic and that was touching to see you out there with your husband. Oh, thank you. And He's a good man. He's so, a good, good and man. And credit to I him. love him. <laughs> love you. Well, Mallory, it has been, I mean, this is one of those moments uh, historic for me, but I feel the fellas and I feel that we're on cloud nine to have this opportunity. Oh, thank you. Thank What's you an so honor? Much. It's an honor to do this. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank pleasure. you for doing this. Thanks thank for thank letting you. me blab on. Yay. Yes. <laughs> But again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if we could, and we had all these people watching right now, let's give a round of applause thank for Miss Mallory thank right you here. So much. And thank, uh, you. thank you for joining in on my page on uh, Summer Spotlight, and uh, we'll see you on to the next one. Again, big Hi. thanks to Miss Mallory Hardin Brooks, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. It was really fun. I'll give a, a big shout out to the Albert Pike Masonic Temple for allowing us to have this wonderful interview. What did you think of this? It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. The theater they have yes. there, it, they have an absolutely amazing um, reception hall down there for receptions. It's gorgeous. The history in this building is amazing. It's amazing. Amazing. I mean, we're in the library right now that, I mean, we saw books that said 1800 something wow. something. And, uh, but again, it, I want to definitely invite you all, if you're looking for a special spot for your venue, definitely give them a call. In fact, this Saturday, I will be doing a wedding for 400 people wow. downstairs. So we're definitely ready to make this memorable and this amazing building. So again, thank you to the Albert Pike Masonic Temple.